Is your car overheating? Signs of engine overheating, fixes, and causes. Engine overheating is a serious issue that can lead to extensive engine damage if not addressed promptly. Understanding the signs of overheating and knowing how to deal with them can save you from costly repairs and keep your vehicle running smoothly. This video will guide you through recognizing the signs and symptoms of engine overheating and their causes, as well as provide you with solutions and your best course of action to resolving the problem, as well as identifying situations where these issues might arise. Signs and symptoms of engine overheating, fixes, and causes. 1. Rising temperature gauge. The most direct sign of an overheating engine is a temperature gauge creeping into the red zone. This can occur during extended drives, especially in hot weather, or when carrying heavy loads, stressing the engine. What to do? When you notice the temperature gauge rising, pull over safely and turn off the engine to allow it to cool. Check the coolant level in the radiator. Ensure the engine has cooled down a little bit before opening the radiator cap to avoid burns. If you notice that your coolant is low, top it up. Also make sure to check for leaks, because a coolant leak might cause a coolant loss level, resulting in a high temperature gauge. 2. Steam from the hood. Steam, or smoke emanating from under the hood, is an urgent sign that your engine may be overheating. This often happens after a coolant leak has escalated, or when the radiator overheats and boils over. What to do? Immediately pull over in a safe location, turn off the engine, and open the hood to allow the heat to disperse faster. Wait for the engine to cool before attempting any further diagnosis or topping up the coolant. Be mindful not to open the radiator cap while it is hot. 3. Unusual Engine Noises Knocking or pinging sounds from the engine can indicate overheating, especially when accompanied by other symptoms. These noises occur when the engine operates at excessive temperatures, which can cause the engine oil to thin and provide less lubrication. What to do? Reduce your speed or stop driving to decrease the engine load. Once the engine has cooled down, check the oil level and condition. If the oil is low or dirty, it may need to be topped up or changed. 4. Reduced engine performance. An overheating engine will often perform poorly, with symptoms like sluggish acceleration or a noticeable decrease in power. This happens as the engine tries to protect itself from further damage due to high temperatures. What to do? If you notice a drop in engine performance and suspect overheating, ease off the accelerator and try to reduce the load on the engine. Consider turning off the air conditioning and other non-essential electrical loads to help reduce the engine's work. 5. Hot Engine Smell Overheating can produce a distinct hot smell from the engine bay. This could be from oil or other fluids heating up beyond their normal operating temperatures, emitting a burning or hot chemical scent. What to do? You're climbing a steep incline on a hot day and start to smell a hot odor. This is a classic situation where engines overheat due to increased load and high ambient temperatures. Pull over and allow your engine to rest. 6. Coolant. Leaks on the ground. If you notice a pool of coolant under your car after parking, it might indicate a leak in the cooling system, which can lead to overheating if unaddressed. What to do? Inspect the source of the leak. It could be from a cracked radiator, a loose hose, or a failing water pump. If the leak source is not obvious, consult a mechanic as soon as possible to prevent more severe overheating issues. Regular maintenance is key to preventing engine overheating. Ensure your coolant is replaced and refilled at the recommended intervals. Make sure that your car radiator and hoses are in good condition and that your engine's oil is clean and at the correct level. And there you have it. Thanks for sticking around to this point. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below.